This day to celebrate love and romance was nearly marred this year by violence and hate. Today, more details emerged about an alleged plot to kill dozens of people in Halifax on this Saturday, including the identities of the suspects and where the attack was supposed to take place. Angela McIver reports. It's one of the busiest places in the city, the Halifax Shopping Centre. Police say it was the intended target of a mass shooting on this Valentine's Day. I did second guess coming here, but I don't know. I decided to come anyway, but it, uh, it, it's scary. It's, you hear about all this stuff happening all over the world and you never, ever, ever think it's going to happen here. Police didn't reveal the alleged target publicly until mid-afternoon. That's also when the RCMP and Halifax Regional Police announced two people faced charges of conspiracy to commit murder. 23-year-old Lindsay Cantha Suvanarath of Geneva, Illinois, and 20-year-old Randall Stephen Shepard from Halifax. Both were arrested early Friday morning at the Halifax Stanfield International Airport. Police say they were tipped off through Crime Stoppers. Consequently, we do expect that this is going to take several uh, days, if not weeks, before we get a very uh, fulsome uh, overview of exactly what the plans were, how they're going to carry it out, as well as any other individuals or factors that are involved. The tip led police to this home in Timberley, a community on the outskirts of Halifax. When officers arrived, they found a 19-year-old male suspect dead. He shot himself as officers closed in. Police are not releasing the young man's identity at this time. Three long-barreled rifles were also found inside the home. A fourth person has since been released without charges. All we're prepared to say is they were in a relationship, a friendship relationship. Justice Minister Peter McKay was in Halifax today and received continuous updates. What, what I can tell you is that this appeared to be a group of murderous misfits that were coming here or were living here and prepared to wreak havoc and uh, mayhem on our community. A friend of the dead suspect and the Halifax man under arrest says he can't believe what he's been hearing. Not in the slightest. I didn't, I, again, I don't picture either of them being capable of such a thing and it's not the type of thing that I ever heard them talk or joke about. The Halifax Shopping Centre was notified early in the investigation that the mall was the target. The mall managers say safety of customers, tenants and employees remains the number one priority. Security there and at events around the city has been beefed up. Angela McIver, CBC News, Halifax.